Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to move on to the next steps of finishing our Star Wars Legion Stormtrooper. Uh, Shore Trooper, actually. So as you can see, we uh, we started off with the two coats. We got the base color down. We did the base uh, shading. You should be able to see it pretty good there. So today we're going to lay down a couple of more colors. And... Uh, the colors that I have picked out right now are um, the Star Wars Legion paint set, and I have the Mimbin Mud. That's going to be for uh, the pants and the uh, boots. We have the uh, Rebel Fatigues, light, like a tan color. That's going to be for the armor. And then I'm just going to go with a uh, War Painter uh, Matte Black. And that's going to be for some of the the webbing and uh, parts of the helmet. Uh, there are other colors that we will lay on after that, but that's all we can put on right now until it dries, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'm actually going to have to uh, put on my spectacles. So do bear with me. I'm not quite as young as I used to be. I have. Uh, I've had really great vision up until basically this year, and now I'm starting to need readers for really up close stuff. So, and of course, there's always a oil or film or something on your glasses. It seems like. Okay, so we have the figure. I'm gonna go ahead and put some paint on my uh, wet palette. a little closer to me might as well just go ahead and put a little bit for each color that I'm going to be using and then I'm going to need a pretty fine brush for uh, this detail work so let me see what I have in my collection okay so um, this is a brush that I got from, I don't know, probably Michael's, maybe Hobby Lobby, something like that. Um, these work really good, um, and they're cheap. Um, they're not quite as expensive as some of the other ones. The other ones work great, of course, if you want to pay money for them. Um, I do have some Army Painter and MIG, uh, ammo of MIG brushes that I use occasionally. But since we're just laying on some base colors this should be fine um, but it's small enough for our purposes so let's go ahead and start with the uh, base color for uh, the pants again you want to make sure you've got thin paint because you can always add another layer and you want it to be thin enough to get into all of the areas Some of these areas are trickier than others. In between the legs, of course, it's always one of the trickier areas. So, unlike a lot of stormtroopers, um, these stormtroopers actually have um, a spot where their pants show in the back. So, most stormtroopers have armored butts, and these actually don't. Their pants show through. So that little spot there should also be brown color, like the pants. This one has his leg hiked up as he's running. So it's a little more difficult to get into all of the, the spots that you want to work with. And it's the same with the, um, the front of these figures, or the armor. It's also pants and not armor. Right in the, uh, the crotch area. And then the other brown is going to be on the boots. They're the same color as the pants. Uh, there is a strap on the boots that we may want to paint a 
slightly different color. I think there's actually a little bit of armor on these as well, but I'm basing my color choices off of uh, one of the action figures. which may not have paint in every spot because Hasbro doesn't always paint everything either. So I'm going to take a double look at that and make sure that we're not missing anything. We may want to add another color to the boots. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the actual action figure that I'm using for my choices for my colors. Okay, so make sure you can see that clearly. We got paint on the boots and on the pants. And that's pretty much it for the brown color. So I'm just gonna clean my brush and move on to the next color. So the next color is going to be the tan for um, the armor. So we already have a base color down for that, and we but I'm gonna go ahead and Go back over the top of it. So this will cover up some of the shading and we'll probably come back and add more shading. But this is a layered approach process. So if you can, you don't want to get back down in the grooves. You want to just kind of lightly paint over the top parts and leave the shading as much as possible in the grooves. So I'm just putting a tiny little mint, a tiny little amount of the very thin paint on my brush. So it does require me to reload the brush pretty frequently. see that so I'm trying to just drag the brush across the top of the armor because I don't want it to get down into the grooves again don't want to add more paint in certain spots you think you want the shading as it is that's fine that is totally up to you as to how much light dark shading however you want to do it as Bob Ross used to say it's, it's your world you just put your happy little tree wherever you want So the helmets on these are the trickiest, the trickiest pieces to uh, maneuver for sure. Because um, there's going to be some black in some of these spots. detail it without having to overpaint the same areas too frequently. I'm going to work on the chest, armor, a little more down in there, and then we'll do arms a little bit. Oops, I got a little too much paint on that one. But that's okay. We just have happy accidents. Okay, and we'll 
do the other arm. Make sure we got it good. Put there. And maybe we'll do some more on this side pouch. I don't know if I want it quite that grimy looking or not. And the belt. And so it looks like I did get brown where I shouldn't have. That's armor. You can see that right there on the side. That's looking pretty good. Now let's do the leg armor a little bit. Just lightly, like I said, just putting just the tiniest little drop of the thin paint on my brush. And then I'm just lightly tapping over the top of the armor without trying to get down into the grooves. side leg is going to be the most difficult of the, the hiked up leg. Alright. So it looks like there's a little bit of armor maybe on this boot right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little dab of paint on these heels. So that's that color. So now we're going to move on to the black. I'm going to thin my black out even more. It's on the wet palette. I'm going to thin it a little more with just a few drops of uh, alcohol. So the black needs to go inside the top of the armor on the helmet uh, and the gloves and between the elbows. So a good place to start with the black is between the elbows. You can just kind of get it in there. You want it really thin. But not too much. This one is a little trickier, so make sure you just have just enough on there. And we also want to paint the gun black. And then we're going to detail that later with some dry brushing. So I believe the gloves and the gun are all black. Now there is armor on the top of the gloves that you don't want to paint black. That should be the tan color. So now the 
tricky part is getting the back side of the gun. That piece there. Alright, so if you see any space in between the shoulders, like it is like right in there, it's supposed to be black. So that's gonna be a pain. You want it to be real thin to get it down in there, and you're probably gonna hit your arm piece armor like I just did. Probably no way around that. We'll just have to come back and repaint that. I'm gonna try to hit this side. You just want to get it like in the underarm area. But not too much. That's one area that is actually easier to paint before you assemble it. So you might want to consider that. Just paint that section black. All right, the neck should also be black. So we're just going to kind of do a nice little spot there. I'm just wiping the excess off of my finger. I'm going to have to put a little more of the uh, tan color on top of this. And now the other piece of the neck. Okay, and now I'm going to thin this out a little bit more. And we want to just get the nose piece on the helmet. piece that comes down from the nose. And then the goggles are also black. So the good thing is the shading will get down into these other pieces of the helmet so we don't have to actually try to paint those black. If you look at the action figure you can see it's just uh, the middle piece, the goggles, and then there's a black, shade, a, a black stripe around the top of the helmet there so I'm going to finish the goggles. stripe around the helmet. The good thing is that's raised so you can just kind of drag your brush atop the little raised piece and that should make it easier. To paint the black line. Okay. Now, the backpack has some more recessed areas that are typically more black, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do those two. I'm going to wipe that excess off with my finger. Just get it down in there. So we have that. Um, the boots, the bottom of the boots, it's up to you. You know, you could paint these black or put some black on there and then wipe the excess off and then see if that works for you. I want it to look like he's got some dark mud under his boots. Um, there's also that little strap on the boot if you want to paint that black. It'll just kind of show that it's holding the armor down. Totally up to you. Uh, 
Okay, so we got those three colors down. I am going to come back uh, here in a second and lay some more tan over the spots that I kind of messed up. Go ahead and clean my brush. And then I'm going to get a little bit of this tan and just come back here with the helmet. Kind of go back over that. the shoulders especially the shoulder other side we've got the back side of the helmet there's a little bit extra there Again, if you like some of the, you know, smearing effects, then you might want to leave it because it's just more detail, kind of grime looking. I'm just going to kind of lightly go over the top of the backpack. So, um, that's another option. If you want, you could do a little dry brushing to kind of get some of the um, other effects. I'm going to hit the, the tan paint. And I'm using um, a flat brush for this. And then you can just kind of um, make sure you guys are seeing this clearly. You can just kind of come over the top of it with a flat brush and dry brush some of this back on. Careful not to hit the other areas. Okay, it's definitely starting to take shape. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and then we'll come back and add a few more details.